Uh, I wanted to talk about connecting the Allen Bradley uh, Micrologics PLC to the computer. Uh, this, this PLC is a networkable device. Uh, in this instance, um, it's not running on the network, it's just uh, directly connected to the PLC, control PLC, via a orange coloured network cable, which is otherwise known as a crossover cable. Now, to help do this, there's a program that you get from the Allen Bradley website called boot p slash thpc server 2.3, which I've installed. And um, it's already set up correctly, but I'll get into that in a minute. Another thing is to go into control panel and it, wait a minute, network and internet connections, network connections, and um, now it's one of these ones, I just have to check first, properties, no it's not that one, maybe this one, Okay, yep. So now normally a computer is set on obtain IP address automatically. With all these uh, devices uh, that are networkable, uh, if you want to connect your computer directly to a network device, you need a crossover cable or a little uh, network switch box. And you've got to uh, manually set your IP addresses. Now the IP address of the computer should be different to the IP address of the device that you are trying to communicate with. Uh, usually the first three uh, digits in the IP address will be the same as the, uh, as the device you're addressing and the last one will be a little bit different. So I've got 192.168.210.100 there. Uh, I think I got these figures from the, uh, the manual for the PLC. Uh, subnet marks 255.255.255.0 which is very very standard and default gateway 192.168.210.254 um, so within that range 100 to 254 you can have devices uh, that this computer can find uh, say for example you have a switch you would have more than one device uh, communi communicating with the computer otherwise with crossover it's only going to need one device so now if I go back to <coughs> uh, this program uh, from Alan Bradley, when you initially run this program, it will actually find uh, what's known as a MAC address of the device that it's uh, attached to. Um, now what you do is you actually uh, uh, set up a relationship here. You actually have to give this device an IP address so that they can begin to communicate with the computer. So you just go, uh, you select new, and um, then you, you you type in the MAC address which is given to you up here, and then you give it the IP address that you want this device to have. Now obviously I've already done that, um, and that's what you can see down here. This is the MAC address of the single PLC attached, and the IP address, and I've given it 192.168.210.110. So you can see that's different. The computer's one is, the last digit is 100, the last digit here is 110. It could have been anything, 101, 102, 110, uh, as long as it's not higher than 254. Um, and that's it, that's your basic comms uh, set up. And, um, and that's it.